Hello everyone, welcome to your morning coffee. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. So, this is going to be a daily energy reading for the day of Wednesday, October 24th, 2018. Happy hump day everyone, we're about halfway through the week now, so yay, you know what comes next, the weekend. <laughs> So we do have a full moon tonight. Um, there's that. Full moon is in Taurus. So if you're feeling a little crazy, that's probably why. Because <laughs> the moon is full. Yeah? Okay. So without further ado, let's just get into it. This is going to be a, 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 a general reading. This is not sign specific. This is not love or career specific. I'm just pulling on the energies, see what we got for the day. Um, they, these readings are timeless, even though these are messages that are coming through today, they are marked as, you know, messages for the 24th of October. This really could resonate at any time for anyone, okay? Excellent, so just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If it doesn't resonate now, that's okay. Maybe it'll res resonate later. And don't hesitate to check out any of the other videos for any of the other days, yes? Cool. Um, just wanna throw it out there. I am taking bookings for private readings, even though I'm not performing them right now, as today and tomorrow, I'm gonna be working on the um, monthly zodiacs for November yeah but once those are finished then I will be starting on private reading so if you would like to get in line um, go ahead and shoot me an email and I will get you set up yeah okay so let's get into the reading for the day guys let's see what the universe wants to talk about today Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. For today, October 24th, 2018. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay, so I'm seeing green today. Um, and today I feel like the green color, I feel like either some of you are really healing or some of you have, have done some major healing because I'm kind of seeing the six of wands here, um, in association with this green. Green is the heart chakra. Green is also healing. Um, green is, our, is, uh, uh, associated with Archangel Raphael if, um, if you see it in that way. But there's major healing that's happening, and it really has, absolutely has to do with the full moon. Um, the full moon is giving us a moment to release and prepare for our new, so for the recent release of the old um, in preparation for the new. If you have any sort of full moon rituals, um, I would encourage you to do so, to, 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 to perform them tonight. I'm gonna try and do one of my own. Um, you know, just write down what it is I wanna release um, and burn it under the full moon. That might be fun tonight. <laughs> um, so, but that kind of release, that sort of release in and of itself would definitely be very, very healing and would actually be a major victory, especially since there are a lot of us that have been going through some pretty heavy things lately. Um, it would be really nice to release that and just clear space away so that our newest and, um, more appropriate uh, manifestations can come in. Appropriate meaning uh, more in alignment with who we are, because that's the goal here too. When we release, honestly, in my opinion at least, when we release something, or at least when I release something, I'm releasing it in effort to create space for something new and better to come in, right? Okay, Wednesday, October 24th, 2018. Let's get into this. I'm gonna go ahead and give it one more shuffle. 
Wednesday, October 24th, 2018. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Wednesday, October 24th. Okay, so we've got temperance. All right. That's a good thing. Um, patience, balance is coming through here. It's good. This is divine timing. So this is the central theme. This is the central message right now. This is patience, okay? The seven of wands. See what else we've got. Wednesday, October 24th. Okay. Well, there it is. Haha. <laughs> All right. Well, the Empress is making another appearance today. The Empress did come out yesterday. Underneath the deck is the Empress. Okay. So, again, like just like yesterday, this is all about fertility, abundance, um, Uh, this is really, I mean, the Empress, also the Empress is Venus, and like what I've been saying, Venus is in retrograde, has been in retrograde, but again, even though this is retrograde, uh, a retrograde season for her, um, being Venus, you know, this is really a really fertile and abundant time for that clearing that we're talking about here, Okay. We've got quite a bit here. Quite a bit. Look at all of this. All right. So we have another repeat character here in the Nine of Pentacles. We've got the Nine and the Ten of Pentacles right there. We also have another repeat character in the Six of Pentacles. The Nine, the Six, and the Empress came out yesterday. Um, we've got the Queen of Wands here. That's wonderful. All right, so let give me just a moment here, guys. Let me just let me just take this in for a second. Um, I do feel like we're making progress. Okay, we're definitely definitely making progress with the nine of pentacles, the ten of pentacles, and also this goes with it: the wheel, the wheel of fortune. Okay, um, we're definitely moving forward in a very serious way. Um, Crowning the reading, we have temperance, all right? So this is that, this is patience. This is the understanding. This is the balancing act, okay? This is the patience to allow your manifestations to really come through. It's the patience to work with the surrounding energies of the empress, um, the work with the fertility um, of the, of the fertility and abund uh, excuse me, abundant um, environment in order to really bring your manifestations through, okay? Um, I do, I'm being guided to point out that in the pre-shuffle, justice did come out, and I really feel like that's relevant here, okay? Temperance and the Seven of Wands. So we're, we're, we're balancing, okay? I'm getting a very much a Two of Pentacles energy with Temperance right now. Um, and it's the, I'm getting the two about two of Pentacles energy because it's we're just balancing out. Okay, there, there, there's a balance act, balancing act that's happening. Um, and while we're being patient and waiting for our manifestations to come in, um, and attracting them in with the with the Queen of Wands, which I'll get to in a second, but um, we're, we kind of have our guard up, or some have our, your guard up with the Seven of Wands. Um, but this is just holding down the fort, in my opinion with the Seven of Wands and Temperance, it's not like we're being like super defensive. It's really just about maintaining boundaries with the Seven of Wands, okay? Um, we have the Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Now, some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. Um, and if you are, this is a fire sign. This is an individual that's desiring some sort of balance and give and take this could be if you're in an existing relationship um you know this could be you wanting this from your partner but i feel like many of you or at least many of us that we're connecting with we're single here so um i feel like this is us with the queen of wands we're attracting the situation and especially with um temperance and the seven of wands here there's a lot of balance happening um, this is actually, I'm getting an energy, an energy of self-care with the Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands here. And this is all in service of your highest good. It's also in service of um, what it is you're attracting and manifesting. 
okay? The other thing I want to say about the Ten of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, and, and the Nine of Pentacles here is um, there's a lot of investment, okay? A lot of investment has been put in to yourselves, to your future, to your manifestations, that kind of thing, okay? So it's really, it's really starting to pay off. Um, what the Wheel of Fortune is saying is that, you know, being autonomous, uh, maintaining your independence, your freedom, and doing the work that you need to do, or the, putting in the effort and the time and the devotion and the dedication to what it is you truly want, what it is you want to, you're trying to manifest and all that, it's really beginning to pay off, or at least it's going to pay off really well for you with the Wheel of Fortune. The, really, the wheel is really going to turn in your favor there, okay? Now... Um, what we have here on the bottom, seven of, ch oh, I'm sorry, the chariot, the five of cups, or the six of swords, okay. There's definitely, there's been some regret. There's definitely been some regret. Um, but there's a lot of movement, okay. There is a whole lot of movement with the seven, with the chariot and the six of swords. Um, and I really feel like many of us either, especially with, without, Um, you do, there is a, there is a depiction of a full moon here in the five of cups. So the five of cups here is definitely talking about, um, well, these three cards right here, this is really talking about what's going on with this full moon today. Okay. Um, the five of cups being any sort of regret, remorse, cringeworthy moments, things from the past, um, that didn't work out in your favor, um, didn't work out the way you wanted them to. I'm really not even going to, I'm going to take that back. It's not that it didn't work out in your favor because ultimately, and even the universe is saying, yes, it did. Because ultimately you learn something. If you learn, when you learn something about it, whether it's positive or negative, it still works out in your favor. Okay. Um, even though it may not feel like that in the moment. Right. So there is a lot of, there is a lot of movement. Okay. We have the chariot, which, which symbol, which in this deck talks about motion the keyword here is motion and the six of swords the keyword there is detachment okay so this is detaching from painful situations this is moving away from you know situations that no longer serve no longer serve you i'm really feeling a very happy jovial giddy energy even with this combination of the set of the um the chariot and the six of swords even whoa i almost spilled my coffee <laughs> even though um you know, you're coming out of this regret, remorse, whatever, the past, um, you know, things didn't work out the way you wanted it to. It, it really feels like at this point, that is a-okay for most of us. It's really just about wanting to move forward, wanting to move on. Okay, cool. Wanting to move forward and move on and just... Create something new. Finally clear away. Finally move away from whatever it is that has kind of been holding us back in a sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I want to get some clarification here now. We're going to start with the ten of, the nine of pentacles, the ten of pentacles, and the wheel. Okay. Um, let's get some clarification. So what changes are coming? Let's clarify. We're going to clarify the wheel of fortune specifically. But with all of this work that we've done, all the investment that we've put in, the time, the energy, the dedication, what is it, what are the changes that are coming from this? Shuffle one more time here. So let's clarify this. The wheel of fortune can please clarify. Please clarify. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, look at that, you guys. Isn't this beautiful? <laughs> We've got the Page of Wands, Judgment, the Ten of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles underneath the deck. So, this is quite beautiful here. Right. Um, 
So with the Page of Wands and then also the Page of Pentacles underneath the deck, okay? This is, to me, I'm hearing autonomous, autonomy, all right? So, um, and that's a, that's, that is a word that's just been flowing like crazy recently. Um, and that has everything to do with this independent status of the Nine of Pentacles, all right? Um, so underneath the deck with the Page of Pentacles is an energy of being ready to accept an offer, I'm hearing. Or also being ready to receive an offer. I really feel like something is, um, so it's, it, it's something tangible, something, you know, something physical, okay? Um, with the Wheel of Fortune here, uh, but then, I'm oh, sorry, we have, well, we're clarifying the Wheel of Fortune, but then we have the Page of Wands. So this is, this is, okay, this is where the autonomy is coming from. And so what I'm getting with the Page of Wands is many of us are standing at attention, ready to go, ready to move in a new direction, okay? And we have a new direction here with judgment, okay? This is the energy of definitely having done the work and now being rewarded for it, okay? This is resurrection. This is reconciliation. This is a second chance. This is a new opportunity, that kind of thing. And what we're bringing in here, um, it's like, it's almost like the universe is congratulating us. This is literally a congratulation from the universe for many of us with judgment and the Ten of Cups. If you've been doing your work, then you're really about to get... <laughs> In some cases, you're gonna, I heard, you're gonna get an extreme payoff. An extreme payoff, you don't have to be worried about that, but it's just going to be something that's really beneficial to you, something that you've really been desiring with the Ten of Cups. And this does, it, it could be a it could be a relationship, don't get me wrong, it doesn't have to be though. Whatever would be ultimately fulfilling for you, whatever your Ten of Cups looks like, it looks like you'll be manifesting it quite soon. It should be coming in, okay? But um, maintain your freedom, maintain your independence. Also, maintain a heavy dose of, of detachment from it. Don't get caught up. Um, and, oh boy, it's coming, it's coming. Don't worry about that. Because you've known, because to be quite honest, you've been knowing it's coming for some time. All right? So just let it happen. Okay? Okay. Um... The next thing, I'm going to think about what I want to clarify next. The Queen of Wands. Yeah, let's tell, let's clarify the Queen of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. Um, because there was some energy of, you know, there's could be something, there could be a fire sign that you guys are dealing with. It just doesn't have to be a fire sign, no. It's someone that's very just charismatic, um, magnetic. Uh, we have Aries, I believe, here. Yeah, with the Queen of Wands, you could be dealing with an Aries. Um, but I want to, but there could be someone that's just desiring. This also could be you. So let's let's clarify this card here, please. So let's clarify that. Um, oh, 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 Aha, look at that. There's the moon. Okay, so this full moon, and yeah, see, look, this is what I was saying. The full moon is bringing in wish fulfillment here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. Um, and the Six of Pentacles, this, um, so, so we're clarifying the Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. For some of you, you could be dealing with um, um, a fire sign individual. Um, that you've been attracting into your life. This also could very well be you. And I really feel like for the most part, this is you, the viewer here. Um, and this is, again, this is you. This is the payoff that we were talking about here with the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. This is very much you in a state of attraction, manifestation, magnetism, um, you know, and in doing the work of clearing, doing the work of, um, preparing for this full moon and whatnot, you are absolutely clearing the way for manifestations to come in, an offer to come in with the Ace of Pentacles, your wish fulfillment with the Nine of Cups, okay? That's excellent, guys. That is so excellent. So now, finally, I do just want to clarify here. Oh, and with uh, death, yeah, this is definitely a transformation. 
definitely a transformation. This is a beautiful energy, guys. Beautiful, beautiful energy. I was wondering if the moon would come out today. And she did. There she is. Um, you could be dealing uh, with a cancer. Because you have the chariot here. Okay, and um, the chariot is the official cancer card. Um, and then you have the moon. The moon is Pisces, officially, in, this, in the tarot, but the moon is also ruled, or a cancer is, uh, is also ruled by the moon. So there's, there's that. Okay, um, one more. I do want to clarify. Let's clarify. I want to clarify this Five of Cups here. Okay, Five of Cups, please. Let's please clarify this Five of Cups. Okay. Underneath the deck, you have the Four of Pentacles. Um, I really feel like a lot of us have moved, have let go. Finally. <laughs> Finally let go of something. Okay. Um, more Cancer energy. Oh, my goodness. More Cancer energy because we have the Queen of Cups and the Chariot again. All right. So this is clarifying the Five of Cups here. Um and so we already know that we're moving away from something with the chariot and the six of swords, but now we have the chariot again and the queen of cups. The queen of cups to me is very much a cancer type energy. Um, but the queen of cups is very intuitive. Um, she's very sure of her emotions. And I really feel like whatever you're dealing, you've dealt with in this situation in that, that basically turned into the five of cups. Um, you have learned quite a bit because you have the ace of swords here um there was definitely an aha moment there was a moment of think of there was literally a moment of saying that oh, this is not this shit is just not going to work for me it's just not going to work okay even though you put in time and effort here with the eight of pentacles but then also what the ace of eight of pentacles is saying is that um to me this is really you really worked on yourself in this situation. You allowed this situation to help you grow, expand. You worked through the situation. Many of you worked hard, very, very hard to maintain the situation, to keep it going, to keep the faith, that kind of thing. And it just, it got to a point where it's just like, no, this isn't, this just isn't working. It's time for me to cut my losses and move on. And she, let me tell you, you've got the chariot twice here, okay? And the six of swords. So you're moving forward and you're moving forward strongly. You're moving forward quickly, headstrong even. Um, and you're take. it's like you're, you're taking what you learned with the queen of cups with you and you're not really saying too much about it, okay? really not saying too much about it but let me tell you when i tell you let you let y'all have let go y'all have let go in a big way with the four of pentacles this is really feels like an energy of finally letting go of something that was really holding you down holding you back um if you haven't yet you you probably do need to um there could be an eight there it could be an ace of swords an aha epiphany moment coming But what I'm also, I'm also getting with the Eight of Pentacles here, I'm getting that there's an energy of wanting to put in the work for yourself. Like some of you are finally getting to the point where it's like, I want to put forth this effort to better myself because I have that understanding now with the Ace of Swords. Okay, last thing I'm going to clarify here is the Six of Swords, I think. Yeah. I mean, I don't really think we need to, though. <laughs> but just for shits and giggles. Okay, let's clarify the Six of Swords. I'm just following what they're, what they're in in guiding me to do. So let's just see. Let's clarify the Six of Swords, please. Woo! Okay. Underneath the deck is the King of Pentacles. Ooh. Well, that came flying out. <laughs> All right, so we've got the Three of Cups in reverse. What are we moving away from? Oh, and the King of Pentacles underneath the deck. Um, so this King of Pentacles energy feels very narcissistic, feels very manipulative, um, very much about money, fame, status, fortune, um, 
opulence, um, the pleasures of the flesh, we'll say. <laughs> but this is someone that's very much rooted in three-dimensional reality. Okay, this doesn't have to be a man. This can be a woman. Okay, but this is energy here. This is energy. Um, and there is definitely energies of third-party situations, whether that be um, extreme partying, um, family members, friends, uh, another romantic partner, something like that. But there has been, there is definitely a rejection of this situation, of this circumstance, whatever. Okay, and this is definitely what we're moving away from. Um, I'm hearing, I'm hearing hive mind. This is this especially with the you know the full moon in um, in Taurus. I'm really I'm really piecing things together here with the full moon in Taurus and Taurus being represented can be represented by the hierophant in the deck, which the hierophant can be that hive mind mentality. Um, some a lot of us are really moving away from that. We're using we you could really use the potential of this full moon to really clear yourself of any of that energy, anything that doesn't serve you in that way. Um, mm -hmm. That feels really liberating. I'm gonna be honest. But we finally let that kind of circumstance go. Cool. So overall, that feels really good, guys. I would say good on you. Congratulations. Um, many of us are really pulling forward, pulling into something brand new, and that's excellent. Alrighty, let's get into the Oracle guidance for today. the Crystal Mandala deck has for us today, Wednesday, October 24th, 2018. That's so many. That's so many. It's only three. We've got Divine Rebel. Already there is value and spear of the Guru Mother. Yeah. Okay. Oops. All right. This already this already feels like it really quite fits. Okay, so we're gonna start with card number twenty nine, uh, Divine Rebel. All right, Divine Rebel. We bring you the blessing of the Divine Rebel. Divine Rebels shake things up, create a divine disturbance, and refuse to play by the rules. They do this because they love divine love. They know there is nothing as powerful as the unconditional love of the divine. It will have its way in the world, in the hearts of all living beings. It will not be tamed, controlled, restricted, or denied. If there is a rule that gets in the way of that love, then the Divine Rebel will find another way so that love can have its way. The divine rebel is in you. It, the divine rebel in you is not meant to do things the way others say you should. Some people may become frustrated with you because they don't know. I'm sorry, they won't know why you have to stand up and speak your truth. That's okay. Divine rebels are not always understood, but they are respected by those who are ready to make love more important than fear, and who are willing to contribute constructively towards healing. The world. This is absolutely that rejection of the hive mind here with the three of cups that I was picking up on. Okay, that's fantastic. Card number forty-three already there is value, and this came out a few days ago. A 
that's cool. I love it when car when uh, messages repeat themselves. You know, it's like continuing the conversation. Here we go. Already there is value. We bring you the empowerment to see that already there is value. It is natural for creative energy to become excited by new possibilities, new ideas, and new forms. It is also possible, however, for creative energy to become engaged in liberating the undiscovered value within that which already exists, polishing it until it shines with divine light. Sometimes there is a need to shed the past and all associated with it completely, starting afresh. However, at other times, there is something of value from the past that can, if allowed to bask in the light of your creativity, become very valuable for your future. In your enthusiasm to move forward in life, don't forget to take the value that already exists in your world along with you. Fantastic, fantastic message. And finally, we have card number 52, um, Spirit of the Guru Mother. Whoopsie. 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 Where is it? There we go. Spear of the Guru Mother. We bring you the empowerment of Spear of the Guru Mother. Sometimes there is so much choice that, a st that we struggle to commit. It is often not an issue of unwillingness to make an effort, but concern that the choice might not be the, quote, right choice. We might pray to the universe to be shown what to do according to a wisdom greater than our own. Although our free will is always in place, we are able to accept the task divinely given or reject it. The universe answers every prayer. In your heart, you have been asking for guidance to be shown what you need to do in a particular situation or perhaps more generally in your life at this time. You want to know the best way forward so your actions are in, al in alignment with heaven. In response, you have now become the spear of the Guru Mother. And I already feel like I kind of want to read more of that. So give me a second here. Mm -hmm. I'll read this one. When the Oracle of, the, of Spear of the Guru Mother comes to you, you are being told your efforts have divine power behind them. The situations in your life are willing... I'm sorry... The situations in your life you are willing to grapple with are going to resolve far more quickly and potently than you might have believed possible. The power of your own efforts, amplified with divine will, creates extraordinary movement. Distraction, procrastination, and hesitation shall not touch you. Your focus will be complete and your task shall be attained. The trust you feel in yourself and the divine will increase because of this. You will gain more confidence in yourself. You'll, became, you'll become game for bigger and bolder challenges. The universe will be able to ask more of you and give you more because you shall be increasingly open to it. The risk you take at this time with absolute intention will bring you so much more than resolution of the task at hand. That's a beautiful message. Excellent, excellent message. So I'm going to close the reading now with Oracle Guidance from the Whispers of Love. Final closing message for Wednesday, October 24th, 2018. Okay. Wednesday, October 24th, 2018. There we go. Closing message here. Okay, underneath the deck, we have the only thing that's real is love. Shift your focus from the problem back to love. So to me, this is really just saying don't focus so much on the problem. Let the universe work it out for you because it's happening, okay? And then the, the official message here is card number 21. Choose love. You always have a choice as to what you, yeah, you always have a choice as to what you should do. And the best thing always, I'd say, is to choose love. So continue to focus on love. Whatever it is that you are manifesting, okay, whatever it is you're clearing away for an effort to manifest something new, do it from a place of love. Um, I'm also hearing commitment, okay? 
but all you should I, I always approach any sort of situation with that as much love as you can. That absolutely is a thing. All right, guys. So there it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all have a fabulous, fabulous day. Um, much love to you all. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.